Hello everyone, this is Derek with Reef Automation. Today we are going to be unboxing the Control 4 Starter Kit. I just got it uh, this morning and we're going to open it up together here. Please note that I have not opened it yet. It is still in a sealed box. So here we go. The box is uh, quite small, so that's good news. It's a small unit. So uh, let's get started. So, uh, so when you open this guy up, it looks like it's just got a bunch of different things in different boxes, basically. So we got the power strip. We got, it looks like maybe some probes, I'm guessing. So it's got, it looks like it comes with a pinpoint. Mine came with a pinpoint probe and two pH solutions. And it says it is a lab grade pH probe. Here is the unit itself wrapped in the bubble wrap. Let's see, we got some stickers it looks like. Um, here's a little uh, guide on how to get started and a big sticker. It's uh, another sticker. This, I believe, is the temperature probe. And I'm assuming this is the power supply. Uh, let's see, yep, that is the power supply. And that is it. All right, so let's take a look. So like I said, it comes with uh, a pH probe and it is the pinpoint pH probe, which I will have to check. I believe that is a single junction probe. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I will check and put that into the comments if I am mistaken. And it does have the standard BNC connector, which would lead me to believe that the Hydros can take any pH probe. So if you don't want to use that one, you could probably purchase a different one. Okay, there's the power supply. It's quite small. Um, it does have a power transformer on the end and a very interesting plug on the right with about six connectors, it looks like. Here is the temperature probe, and it has four connectors, so it's different than the power, so you wouldn't get confused with the two. Okay, let's open this baby up. Okay, so uh, right out of the box, it's got these small caps that go over all the connectors. It's got the two zero to 10 volts. It's got the four sense ports, the two drive ports, and the two probe ports. And each one of them are different. Uh, you can see some of them have four connectors, some of them have six connectors, some of them have five connectors, so you can know exactly uh, how things plug in. So the power connector has five, so it must go into the command port right here. And I do like how it screws in and it's nice and tight. So that's really nice. Um, it's got a little weight to it. It's not super heavy by any means. It's probably very easy to mount. It's got four holes. Um, so pretty, pretty simplistic and easy, like I said, it's got different plugs for everything, so you know what you're plugging into what. And then this comes with the power supply or power brick. Let's take a look at this guy. So it's got a, a mounting bracket with four holes, so that's nice. It's got a nice mounting bracket, so you don't have to tape this up to anything. 
And this is what the power supply looks like. It's got uh, an on and off switch, I'm assuming. It's up on the left-hand corner. It's got four connectors, which are nicely spaced out. So you can plug in, you know, transformers. You can see my thumb. There's a good, at least a thumb distance between them, my thumb. Um, it's very light, it's very small. Uh, you can see my hand next to it. It's got four USBs. Uh, I believe those are for just auxiliary power. I don't know if you can actually turn stuff on and off via that, but we will find out. Let's see. It does say that it's got, uh, let's see, two amps on the USB powers. They're not five amp. And it shows that it's got a four, uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and total power rating is 10 amps or 125 watts and it appears to have a number of ratings on the back CE ratings um, it appears to have I'm not sure what that rating is but you can take a look at what it's got on the box the hydros itself doesn't really have any markings or anything so uh, that's pretty cool Let's see, and then you got the power supply, which it appears to be a 24 volt, 1.5 amp. And it does also have pretty much the same ratings as the power brick. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing. Uh, just wanted to show everybody what comes in the box. Uh, we're gonna get this guy hooked up and get some initial thoughts on it. Uh, but so far it actually feels really well built. Um, I can see when they say it's somewhat waterproof. I don't see how this thing could get water in it. I really don't see how it can get water in it. Um, so that's kind of nice. So we'll uh, hook everything up. We'll get this going and we'll have a video coming up with the initial setup and review of it. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Have a great day and uh, talk to you later.